Uh, so we do have that high wind warning in effect. Uh, generally, southwest winds 25 to 35 with gusts possible up to 60 miles per hour. Okay, how much effect will this wind have on the melting, Sean? Uh, the, the combination of the wind and the warm temperatures and higher dew points um, definitely will start to really eat away at the uh, snowpack. Um, it's only been recently, maybe in the past uh, several hours, where dew points have really uh, come up enough where we should see snow melt to really uh, start to let loose now, uh, so through today. So we expect the snowpacks to really start to uh, diminish in size uh, through the day today. You know, those snowpacks incredibly really went down considerably yesterday. And I would imagine, uh, I hope I'm correct in assuming this, that it had to do with the fact that the ground is not frozen yet. The fact of the ground not being frozen yet, is that a good thing that could uh, could help here in the next couple of days? Uh, yeah, well, definitely, you know, with the ground not being frozen, um, that would, that would uh, cause the snowpack to melt from the bottom up, but then also the temperatures that are above freezing is going to cause the snowpack to melt from the top down. So you're kind of getting both ends there. The, the flood watch, which is in effect from this afternoon through late Tuesday night, does that mean that by Tuesday night the danger should be over? Uh, well, Tuesday night we have temperatures um, falling below freezing, actually, back down into the 20s. Uh, we have a sharp uh, cold front coming. Uh, it's going to usher in uh, much colder weather, much below normal weather, um, beginning uh, Tuesday right through the end of the week. So. Um, you know, once temperatures start falling below freezing again, we're not going to see uh, any more snow melt if there is even any snow left. And at that point, we should start to see things starting to freeze up again. Um, so I guess that would limit um, any further threat for flooding. Suburbanites who live in uh, West Seneca are particularly concerned. So are many in the town of Lancaster and some of those flood-prone areas. What creeks uh, are you particularly watching at the National Weather Service, Sean? Well, we're watching four uh, creeks in the Buffalo area, the big four, uh, Ellicott Creek, Creek Cava Creek, uh, Buffalo Creek, and Casanova Creek, and we have uh, flood warnings in effect for all four of those creeks uh, with uh, expectations that they will reach at least minor flood stage. Now, yesterday there seemed to be a threat from Casanova Creek because of some jamming of ice and snow at one point. Has that been alleviated at this point, do you know, or is it getting worse? Yeah, it looks like, according to the uh, the gauge on Casanova Creek, that the ice jam had let loose. Um, it, the uh, the gauge showed a spike in uh, river level, which typically is associated with an ice jam, and then it came back down uh, to like a normal level. So that indicates that the ice jam broke loose. But um, probably here in the last 12, 18 hours uh, after the ice jam let loose. Uh, we are still seeing uh, the river level or the creek levels uh, rising. Um, right now, it happens to be around uh, six and a half feet. We're expecting to go, expecting the creek level there on Casanova Creek to uh, rise up just over ten feet. Okay. Are you aware of much flooding so far, even basement flooding in the area? Um, you know, I, I haven't heard of a lot of reports. Um, you know, it, well, we it, haven't either, and that's why yeah. I was wondering if you had, and I'm wondering if, is it possible, could we be very lucky with some minimal flooding through this? Well, we would hope so. I mean, uh, that would definitely be a more, uh, more favorable outcome for us. Um, but, you know, there is that threat with, with still uh, quite a bit more snowpack being melted down today that, uh, you know, threat uh, flooding concerns um, uh, are still uh, possible. You know, Sean, many of our listeners are just looking for some sense of comfort. If you could just take a stab at it, and we're not going to hold you to this, but if you could rate the flood threat as minor, somewhere in the middle, or major, where would you go at this point? It's really tough to say because, uh, you know, you have different... You, we had uh, quite the range of snowfall totals across the area. Um, so it's, I really can't, you know, give you a, a range, you know, uh, <laughs> based to you for the, for the flood threat. I guess. Well, then I guess the, uh, yeah. I guess the, I guess the greatest threat of flooding then would probably be in those hard hit areas where they got the most snow, right? Yeah, you could say the greatest flood threat would be where the the highest amounts of snow were. Um, you know, it, it's probably a little bit easier to assign a threat level to the river since we do have these uh, pre-established. Um, 
uh, flood stages. You know, we are only, we are only expecting the, uh, the creeks to go up to minor flood stages. So we aren't expecting like a major flood on the creeks. Um, but again, you know, outside of the areas with the creeks, residents who um, just had the heavy snowpack could, could definitely see a threat from uh, a threat for you know basement flooding or uh, poor drainage uh, flooding, things like that. We're talking live with meteorologist Sean Smith at the Buffalo Airport Weather Station with the National Weather Service. Sean, what about the Lake Shore flood watch uh, this afternoon through Tuesday night for Erie and Chautauqua? Yeah, Lake Shore flood watch uh, is uh, we put that out Sorry, there. Sorry, guys, I have to shut off the video.